Well, today I, I got together with Cricket. She was coming through town. Her dad was coming down here to take his grandma to the hospital and drop Cricket off. And I got off a little early from mowing lawns, and we met in the park for a little picnic. And boy, we're both excited to see each other because we don't see a lot of each other because of the car situation and being in other counties. I told her I'd bring some stuff for the picnic, and she could bring some stuff. And well, I showed up there. You know, I brought my can, a big can of sweet tea because I knew we were going to be sharing it. So I brought, a, I got a big one down at the store, just to the sweetest tea you can find in a can. And then I brought a bag of them pork rinds, buddy, and I showed up to that picnic in that park looking for my girl. And there I saw her coming across the park, buddy. She had a picnic basket in one hand and a moon pie in the other, looking hotter than a July day. one other really real date at the bowling alley and didn't have a lot of time to talk that night and I just knew that her family lived on a pretty big piece of land I thought you know just didn't know she'd ever done any hunting boy sure enough she had we hunt squirrels deer bear duck gator frogs the water moccasins oh. I snap their necks and the other thing we got to talking about was was a fishing she done some of that too on the pond I didn't mean to ask you out on your property, what's the biggest fish you ever caught? With my hands or with a fishing pole? Uh, either one, just the biggest one you ever pulled in. The biggest one I caught with my hands was 40 pounds. What kind of fish was it? It was a garfish. Oh, cricket. I know. That's the toughest thing I ever heard. It was a really good picnic today. Oh, it was a good oh, picnic. So okay. good. It was one of the best afternoons of my life. We had some good food, and I got to spend time with my girl. Did you want some sweet tea? I'm gonna be full for supper tonight. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have my mm -hmm. tail. And I started telling Cricket some problems I'm having with my uncle's truck this week. She started talking, buddy, and I thought I was talking to my dream girl. Tuesday, I was in the, I was at the uh, mechanic all day getting the oil changed. I thought that'd take 20 minutes. Are you kidding me, baby? I would have borrowed my daddy's travel oil, and I would have driven into town, and I would have changed your, your tires, your, your oil, oil, your spark, spark plugs. I've seen them movies where a boy tries to, you know, let a girl know he likes her, and I was just getting all nervous. I didn't know how to put it with Cricket today, and I came up with the best line I could think of. I wanted to tell you something with my mouth. And then I kind of move in, you know, because I think, boy, this, this might be the time to do it. What is it? What did you want to tell me? Well, it was with my mouth. You know, I heard a lot of people say how they, you know, how they they try to court a girl. Well, tell me. I want to know. What is it? And who shows up? Oh, ah, my brother got a girlfriend. My brother. That's how it ended. You know, a 33-year-old man water ballooning his little brother doesn't seem too funny to a lot of girls, so he's digging his own grave the way I look at it. We had a good time. I'll probably be seeing her at the bowling alley Tuesday, and, uh, and I think things are moving in the right direction. I think my brother realizes now that he made a big mistake trying to mess with that. So he'll probably be leaving us alone, and if he don't, boy, not just me going to put a hurting on him next time. I'll let Cricket at him.